What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. In this special box, I have a amazing pair of football boots today. This is another pair of Nike Phantom GXs, but if you can tell by the box, this is the ones that they released during the World Cup, the very, very hard to find pink and black colorway. Now, this whole situation with these boots is thanks to Soccer USA in Oklahoma. Um, they absolutely plugged me with these boots. They've got an insane selection of boots on their website, including stuff that can't be found on the open market or Instagram anymore, which is kind of crazy that like a local shop has that. They're based in Oklahoma and they ship uh, nationwide. So definitely go check their stuff out. It is awesome. I'll show you their logo that's, I think, in the box. They've sent me a, a card as well. So um, these boots are so exciting. I'm absolutely stoked. We'll talk about tech specs. We'll get in on feet and, of course, get a sense of what these pink GXs look like on feet, which is super exciting. So gold box per the World Cup colorway. So this was the box um, that was used for all of the World Cup pack colors from Nike. So sort of that black and uh, this kind of gold. You could, I guess you could almost call it, uh, what's, what's another word for this color? Like a bronze color on feet. They looked kind of gold, but they also looked a little bit bronze as well. So black and bronze box, Nike logo there. Nike swoosh there, and then these are Phantom GX Elite FG in a size 9 US, a UK 8. So that's the sizing there. Um, for those of you asking, I do go true to size on the GXs for the most part, and that quarter size length. So let's get these opened. Oh, all right, so really quick, um, that's your Soccer USA logo, boom. And then I'll throw this Oklahoma's premier soccer shop. So there's that guy for you. And then there is that QR code. So freeze this image, get your phone out, do the QR code, check out um, the Instagram page and everything. They've got so much crazy stock. So that's that. So thank you again to the uh, Soccer USA OKC because that stuff is like, these boots are insane. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. All right, here we go. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So there is the pink Phantom GX. I have not seen these in person and I am so impressed. Sort of a matte metallic on the bottom here. Oh my God. Those are beautiful. Maybe by the end of this video, I will reveal to you what my favorite or what my ranking system is for which colorway I like the best out of these. Gold accent here, which is super nice. Gold accent here on the back, also super nice. Man, these are gorgeous. Okay, let's get these out of the box. There's that other one for you. The left shoe. All right. String bag as well, very similar to all the other Phantoms. This is like a black or like a really deep purple color with Phantom GX there. The Nike logo, you've got these really cool little details in pink. And then on this side, it's just the Nike swoosh and uh, Phantom GX down at the bottom. So very, very cool. All right, get this out of the way. There's your Phantom GX. All right, these are something special. I absolutely love how these look. I, again, as I said before, this is the first time I've actually seen the pink ones in person. I saw them being worn by uh, friends of mine on Instagram who I don't actually live nearby to. So I saw, saw them on those guys. I've seen them obviously in other videos on YouTube for other YouTubers who have reviewed this exact colorway. And I can tell you in person, they are really, really, really spectacular. They've got um, a couple different pieces. We'll kind of walk through the tech specs really quick of this boot. Um, so this boot is made from a fly knit base. That's all of the dark purple or black material that you see here. And in the lacing system area, you've got a very, very low key heel counter, almost no heel counter. One of the things that the design of this boot is meant to do is give you a really free flowing sensation. As you can see, the upper is just crazy soft out of the box and really pliable out of the box. And what they wanted to do is reduce that heel counter. So what they've done is instead of having a heel counter that runs all the way up and around, they basically cut out a big U shape here in the Achilles area. So you've got tons of extra 
malleability and adjustability here in the heel. So that's something that uh, you can really feel on feet, especially in this low top variation. It does a fantastic job of wrapping your foot and giving you a really free sensation on feet, almost so that you forget you have boots on, which in my opinion is, is super fun. It's a great sensation to have on feet. Nike's new grip knit technology is this pink section, pink and purple section right here. That is the new tech that Nike is advertising as giving you an extra little bit of grip in wet and dry conditions. And I can tell you now from reviewing, I think at this point, five different pairs of Nike Phantom GXs, the grip knit is a sensational, sensational piece of technology, not because it's crazy and does something so different from what Flyknit does, but it does it in a way that's executed for game performance. And I can tell you from wearing them on wet conditions, in wet conditions, dry conditions, on artificial ground, on firm ground, on soft ground, these this grip knit performs amazingly well in all of those conditions because um, one of the things that it naturally does is it's naturally water resistant. So in I was playing in snow actually in my high top, uh, the high top ones and the, the high top blue ones, the DF model, and I my feet weren't wet after playing in the snow and playing in the rain and like my toe area. And that was really weird for me. That was like my feet weren't wet. That was crazy. Um, if you care about that, then yay. I don't know if it's going to improve risk of blisters. I don't know if it's going to improve any sort of active performance thing. The grip on the ball will. I don't know if keeping your feet dry will. So that's just something to keep in mind. If that's something that you want, these are definitely a pair of boots to check out because this material is actually uh, naturally water resistant because of how the yarns are woven together. So you, the grip knit is the pink and then the purple are the high tenacity yarns that we've seen before on Nike models that really give you a bit of structure when you start breaking in the boots. So now that I have a couple pairs that are totally broken in and have really stretched here through the midfoot for, for my foot type, this is kind of that section right there where I'm really wide. Keep in mind, this is the right shoe, right? So the right shoe right on the outside right there. And then I've got a really thin heel area. And so it's stretched really nicely to my foot uh, and is definitely suitable for most foot types, wide feet for sure. And then it also does a really nice job. These high tenacity yarns kind of give it a little bit of structure enough so that it doesn't overstretch at least so far. FGE sole plate comes in a new stud pattern for this Phantom GX series compared to the Phantom GT2 series. You've got conical studs, you've got star shaped studs, which we saw from the recent release of, or I guess not so recent now, but the recent release of the Vapor 15 Superfly 9 here in the heel area and then a couple in the forefoot. And then you've got some Chevron studs here in the toe area as well. So a really nice combination for the FG model. The AG model is the exact same layout of studs. It's the exact same number of studs on kind of the lateral and the medial side of the shoe, except all of them are this exact same conical type stud and then they're a little bit shorter I believe and then here in this middle you've got two or three excuse me three tiny little uh, TPU studs there that uh, are at a little bit less aggression than this chevron stud so regardless of whether you go for the AG model or the FG model I think you're going to be totally suitable for most pitches if you're someone who's really looking for security and peace of mind when it comes to your your boots and kind of the grip it has in the ground. If you're looking for something that's got tons of grip, go with this one. It's got definitely enough grip for all surfaces. If you're looking for a boot that's got a little more flexibility and can, you're more of somebody who wants safety, go with the AG model. Cause I've played on FG pitches with the AG model and they work perfectly. It basically just feels like you're running around in a tempo or something, a, a boot that's FG pattern is just conical studs. So it's kind of the same idea and both are really sensational. Both are, both are built on the same last. They're basically the exact same sole plate. It's just the difference in the stud, this, uh, this, the shape of the stud. So that's all to, that's really all you need to know about that one. Um, but really nice sole plate. There is a little bit of flex here in the forefoot, enough that you get a nice little bit of snapback. Uh, a lot of complaints have been said about this boot being too loose in the sole plate. And I would say I don't mind it personally, but again, I'm somebody who actually plays in my boots and I play aggressively in my boots. So I've tested these in sprinting conditions and all different weather conditions, different uh, 
all different pitches and stuff. And yes, they are looser than something with a carbon sole or even something like, a, I think the Vapor has more snapback than this with that air zoom unit in it. But at the end of the day, most people I would say aren't gonna notice the stability and structure of the sole plate. So for me, it's not really that big of a deal. I don't think you should worry about it. If you're somebody who absolutely has, has to have the best performance possible, I'd go with something like a Mizuno Alpha, maybe. That's probably the most snappy, especially now that uh, as of the filming of this video, Adidas has moved away from the Carvatex inserts. Those used to be, in my opinion, not even in my opinion, objectively, those were the snappiest sole plates you could find. Other ones with Carvo insoles are probably the best. So that's a Mizuno product or a Adler product. But again, the Adler product is sort of compromised just in the sense that they're not speed boots they're a classic leather feel so it's just going to be the bottom the bottom line here is most people are going to be just fine in these and they're going to be a great fit and feel on feet so that is super awesome i think these boots look absolutely sensational i'm really excited to wear these with a proper kit i think they're going to look amazing with most kits as we saw in the World Cup, which is super cool. So without further ado guys, let's just hop into the on feet portion of the video. I'm really excited to see what these look like on feet. We'll talk a little bit more about performance and stuff as I slip my foot in them. And as you guys know, at this point, I've got a plethora of experience in the Phantom GX. So I'll talk a little bit more in depth about how they've been going and what the differences are between this one and the high cut model, the DF model, and uh, hopefully you guys get more information there. So let's hop into it. All right, I'm out here at the pitch with the absolutely beautiful Nike Phantom GX. Now I'm gonna sort out these lacing, these laces while I talk a little bit about some of the differences that I have seen between the low top and the high top. Per the review of the high top, if you guys haven't seen that one already, one of the biggest things that I noticed in the on feet portion of the video and in testing them, I've now worn them several times. I'm working towards that one month review like I am with a couple other boots at this point. And what I've noticed is the lockdown in the heel area is much more noticeable and much more significant in the DF model straight out of the box. Now, once your foot breaks it in, I haven't experienced any differences between the high and the low top as far as lockdown in the heel goes and in kind of this heel area back here. Um, but if you are somebody who does want lockdown straight out of the box, the DF model definitely feels a little bit more secure overall as a football boot because it has the extra piece of material on the top holding you in. And then of course the lacing cover as well, which just adds a little bit more uh, structure to that, keeping you inside the boot. So now that we've got these, let's get these on feet. They look absolutely stunning. I love how this football boot looks. Obviously wearing non-grip socks for you guys uh, who haven't seen any of my reviews. I like to do reviews in non-grip socks first just to give kind of a raw, unbiased opinion about what they actually feel like on feet without extra performance and extra grip in them. They slide right on. These low tops are actually really easy to get on, which is awesome. And then they fit just so nice. I love how GXs fit straight out of the box. They are one of the most comfortable shoes for me on the market. and. Uh, Per the request of a couple of you guys who are subscribed to the channel, um, I will be putting together a top five boots of all time list. Full disclosure, these will probably be in that top five just because I love how much they fit so much. And it's totally a personal thing. I can tell you from testing, retesting, wearing them in games, wearing them in trainings on all different types of pitches, I am not biased. I don't care what the brand is. I don't care how they look. I don't really care about anything other than how they fit when it comes to absolute performance. And for me, the GX fits my foot the best and is probably one of the best performing boots for me on the market. So there you go. Absolutely sensational looking on feet. I'll pull my pants up just a tiny bit so you guys can see what they look like on feet. Wow. I... I think these pink and this is actually not black. This is a dark purple color. Um, and I'm now able to see that with kind of in the, in the daylight, they are, they are dark purple. They're not black. Um, and they just look absolutely sensational. In my opinion, these are one of, if not the coolest colorways of Phantom GXs. In my opinion, it's kind of hard for me to say 
that the blue isn't the coolest colorway because I think the blue looks absolutely amazing. And then for me, between these and the all yellow orangey ones, it's really hard to pick. The black ones are cool, but the black ones aren't as special looking in my opinion. These are super special looking. The blue ones are super special looking and I love that color blue obviously. Um, but yeah, absolutely sensational. They fit so well here. As I've mentioned before in previous videos, um, there is about you know half width thumb right out of the box because this upper hasn't stretched and my my toes can't kind of go from this to like something like that um, once i have totally broken in my toe fits right up on the edge of the boot so it totally breaks in fine my toes get really into this boot and they feel absolutely sensational so that's what they look like on feet um, in my opinion they look absolutely fantastic i love how the gx looks especially the low top there's tons of grip inside the boot in my opinion i'm obviously not wearing grip socks and i have i have zero issues coming back and forth um, Part of, part of me is saying this because I know what GXs fit like. I've worn a ton of them, um, but also right now, I feel zero slippage in the heel, zero slippage in anywhere on the boot. <coughs> Excuse me. And they are fantastic. So touch on the ball with the GX is one of the things that I love the most. It's got this really nice waxy sensation on feet. Um, that gives you, obviously it's dry conditions right now. It didn't rain last night. It hasn't snowed in a little bit. And the touch on the ball is really nice because it gives you the perfect amount of waxy stick to it, which in my opinion is one of the most satisfying sensations when on feet and when manipulating the ball. There's situations that uh, Ryan, who's one of my training partners here um, and one of my teammates at Flower City uh, calls, oh, that's, that was such a sticky tackle, meaning we got in the tackle and the ball kind of stuck between one of our limbs and then one of us got away with it. That's like a sticky tackle. And uh, I can tell you, these help. That little bit of extra waxiness really does help. And I think they look absolutely sensational on feet. The pink just pops. Uh, it really does <coughs> a nice job, excuse me, on feet of making the boots stand out from the rest of the kit. So very, very cool, absolutely sensational feeling football boots. You guys know how I feel about these, the GX lows and, and honestly the GX high tops as well. Some of my favorite boots on the market right now, if my, if not my number one pick, it's definitely my number one pick outside of Hypervenom Phantom 3 as far as a game boot goes. And uh, for me, these are, these are really hard to beat and this is a really tough boot to, uh, to argue with. So hope you guys enjoyed that review. If you guys want more reviews of other football boots, let me know what you'd like to see down in the comment section below. Like the video if you got value from it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next time.